Skin color, I fucking hate that. Yeah, this fucking dead Olaf here. Yeah, my mic just got turned down because of the shuffle, dude. It happens like that sometimes. Stay a while and listen. Yeah, I chose Demon Souls because it's quick. In case my daughter wakes up, so I have to dip out for an hour or so. But afterwards, we're going to come back with probably Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls 1 afterwards. I'm going to try to do as many no-death runs as I can without dying. And I don't know how long that's going to take. If it gets to the point where it's like past 40 hours, I might just stop. Because I don't really see the point of going past that. For right now. Couldn't sleep. What's up, Manuel? Welcome back, dude. You know what I mean? There's like no point in me going past 40 hours of no death runs. Because that would be like an endless run. Merry Christmas, your thanks, man. Yeah, because it's not working now, because the computer crashed, so the exact time's wrong, and I, I can't add time to it. So, we're 14 hours in. That's basically where we're at, 14 hours of straight no death runs. Yeah, I hate the Grinch, man. I was gonna make GG Allen, but I'm not cool enough like you.
That was a Christmas. I mean, I guess he looks like a Christmas tree, right? He could be a living Christmas tree. I can't wait to do the old holy duck run with fucking Duckman. It's been a while since I've seen Duckman's ass. But hey, we'll be doing Duckman old bosses DS3 probably soon. Like maybe, maybe next run and run after. I wish they would fucking remake Dark Souls 1 like this. Just being honest, and then Dark Souls 2 afterwards. I would like to see Dark Souls 1 like this, all fucking amazingly made. You know, because it's kind of old now. I love the game, but it's fucking old, dude. the computer crashed and we can't add time to it. So we're 14 hours in. I'm just gonna get rid of the timer soon. Yeah, you're fine, dude. You wouldn't know. How would you know, you know? Nope, oh, it's scripted, but well, anything scripted that causes your character to die is, is not the fault of the player. It's the game mechanic and story. Always. Even in Bloodborne, the ending, Yarnum Sunrise, isn't your fault. It's just you awakening from a dream, literally. It doesn't count. If it's not your fault, it doesn't count. Unless it's like a glitch, then you basically just have to start over anyways. Fire bros are the worst. I'm waiting for you. I know you're coming. What about your friend? You coming too? To play? Welcome back. I don't know, I might end up using a sword this time. Last time we used the OP dagger. Nice spider is it? Sweet. This, these guys are fucking temperamental as shit. Not into it, dude. Fucking firebomb dude over there. Turn on face cam? Yeah, for a little bit. Because people want to want me to prove I'm playing. Because they're fucking stupid. See? Yeah. Kia, thanks for that. Appreciate the positivity. I need it. I really do. It's been a rough week. I 
I do appreciate the positivity. It does help. I like how his beard it just happens to be red for some reason. I have no idea why. Look at it's just red for whatever reason. We need another drunk Discord call, maybe. The possibility. That was pretty fun. That for that you were you were sweet. You weren't even bad. Some people when they're drunk, man, are just like intolerable. You can't fucking deal with them. I, I'm being completely honest with you when I say that. Can be drunk as usual. <laughs> Jesus, man. I hate rowdy drunks. I mean, I don't. The ones I don't like are the depressive. I'm gonna kill myself type drunks. Those are the ones I don't like. That's the kind I can't stand. People that are chill, sweet, even rowdy to some extent I can handle, but like straight up, hey dude, I don't wanna live anymore. Those people, I'm like, nah bro. Y you need some fucking psychological help, my friend. Something I can't give you. You're drinking to fill the hole, baby. Nah, you were just being sweet. You were fine. Like I, like I said, you were being okay. You, you were definitely not bad. I've, I've dealt with bad. You definitely weren't bad. Also drinking now. <laughs> nice. Enjoy your drinks. Oh my goodness. Halo, nice. Halo land. What the hell is Halo land? I don't even know what that is. I'm too old. I'm an old person, I don't know what these things are. I don't play Vinci games. The Vinci games, I don't play them. Questionable. Oh, nice, that's cool. Well, good luck. It's Ian, or yeah, I think he's a Lan or Ian. The letter properly. <laughs> Uppercase to lowercase. Oh. And okay. The old school. Oh, okay, fair. That's fair. Oh, okay. So, like, you mean like a a personalized match? Okay, I get it. Like landline match, I get it. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't done that shit in forever. You guys remember fucking split screen? Holy shit! Remember when split screen was a fucking thing, man? Holy crap! You used an uppercase. Well, Ian then, huh? Alright, now we're super confused. <laughs> Sorry. This is confusing. Life is confusing, Kia. Sorry. It's 
life is too hard for me. I can't. I can't conceive or perceive it. It's it's Witcher soundtrack, I think. Yeah, it's Witcher three soundtrack. Wild Hunt. That, that's why you like it, because I know that's like one of your favorite games, right? It's what I remember you telling me a while back. It's a game I still haven't finished. I want to finish so badly. Sounds mighty familiar? Yeah, it's good shit. It's good music. It's fucking hype. Hype ass music. Can't escape me in my fire bubbles for links. You must die a death that's glorious. In the flames you shall burn and perish. You've been squished, my friend. Squish away. Hardstone shards. Life gives me nothing but hardstone shards. You must perish in the burning flames. I guess we're doing Halberd Run. Or maybe Dragon Bone Smasher. Because I love Dragon Bone Smasher, and I've done that run like a thousand times, but I still fucking love Dragon Bone Smasher. I still love it. It's one of my favorite weapons. Maybe we'll do Halberd this time. Next time we'll do Dragon Bro Bone Smasher. Shut up, kid. Don't give a shit about you. Go to hell. Yeah, well, I have. It's because of work. Yeah. Like I can't. I don't have time, and people aren't interested in watching it for whatever reason. I like the game a lot. I like the books. I've been reading the books. I'm like on the third novel. It's really good. But I want to do like a starting sword only run in it. Let's see what we get from the crystal lizard. Bigger than the main game? That's insane. I heard the second season's better. I do like Superman though. You gotta play Superman, I like him. Sharp stone shards you break. Yeah, because you can get the starting silver and the starting regular steel. Sword technically would be starting sword only. Technically. Which would be like a low damage run, which I think if it as long as it's a challenge run, people will watch that shit, but if I'm just playing through standard. No one's gonna watch it. That's how it usually works. Yeah, it's 
pretty fucking painful. Game just continues to level up uh, regardless of your armor using the sword. It would be so hard. Yeah, it would be. That's why I want to do it. Exactly why. Yeah, I, I just got it recently. I'm getting the rest of my head tattooed next month. So I'm doing this side, the top, and the back, and then the next month. You're fine, dude. Don't worry. Like, you can't keep track. People can't keep track, dude. They got lives, dude. I appreciate that, kid. That's very nice of you. Turn off cam. Hold on, guys. Legend has it, the needle felt the pain, not right. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, no cam yet. I'll put it back on in about like 30 minutes or so. Stuff going on behind me, why? Coming down, bro, like, it's the deal here. Is that playing? I just proved I was playing like three times right now by showing you the controller and everything, man. <laughs> some, people, some people literally do that. I want to see your hands on the controller. For the 140 run, that was the thing. I want to. I don't know. I don't know if I can trust you if you're really playing the game. It's like, dude, shut up. I'd already been in like 60 hours plus. Like, I think I was at like 180. I know you were. I know you were joking, but some people aren't, dude. Some people fucking aren't when they say that shit. I'm like, dude, I've been on the mic for like 118 hours. Shut up. <laughs> like, it's good enough. That's when I started pulling out the camera and showing my fucking hands, and people were like, Oh, okay, well. Like, Jesus, dude. I'm gonna grab this katana just in case we get sharp stone shards instead. So I could go Uchi, or we could go, uh, what do you call it? Calvert? Whichever. Uh, this goes, you have, yeah. You mean the long amount of endurance that most people don't have that I have? Yeah. I fucking have a crazy amount of endurance. Say a while. I have the ridiculous stores of endurance that most people don't even tap into, man. That guy can be really dangerous sometimes. That skeleton can be super dangerous. Just because he can turn around for whatever reason and slap you in the ass. And he loves doing it too. He loves smacking your booty when you're running across. Thank you. 
What language is this, man? I don't even know what language this shit is. Tagalog? It's not Tagalog, dude. It's gotta be like Polish or something. Daniel, thanks for the support, man. I appreciate it. It's almost a thousand days, dude. You ready for your band? Complimentary thousand day band. What's up, you sexy slut? <laughs> The usual fucking Daniel greeting. Elden Ring bots, yeah, I know, dude. Can't wait for a randomizer run. Daniel. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, Michael's getting banned. It's time for Michael to get banned because he's been here for a thousand days. Welcome, Michael. So we're doing a small run right now because I have to wait for my daughter to wake up. I'm trying to keep it concise just in case she wakes up and I can finish some runs in between. We'll just keep going either way. No matter what happens. Because next I want to play Dark Souls 1. Or Dark Souls 3 after this. Ban me? <laughs> That's fair. No, so I'm doing something new at the end of each stream. I'm gonna put a, like a title up for people that have supported for a very long time or whatever. Fuck that up. Oh, you're gonna die anyway, buddy. Alright. So, the longest supporters are gonna get a special tier on thank yous. Pretty much. So Daniel, you're gonna be on the list, man. Can you stop? Just take it like a good doggy. It's been a while since I've been able to jump. You're fine, sir. Everything's good. I mean, we're at five no death runs in a row, which is pretty ridiculous already. Numbers climbing, obviously. By the time we're done, we might be at like 12 in a row. Patrick's gonna die. I hope so. I mean, he kind of deserves it. He's a piece of shit. 
But you know what? I most identify with Patches in the whole entire series. Because I understand what it's like to be jaded and not fucking trust anybody. So Patches is my spirit animal. I like him more than Solaire. None of that's like, you know, basically disastrous to hear what is the truth. Look at, he just stayed there, dude. Philanor. Philanor. I don't know much about the lore of Philanor. I know that she's the chick with the egg, right? The one that's like there waiting. I don't know much about her lore. Is the everyman? Yeah. He definitely is. I agree. Wait a minute. Wait, you know what run I haven't done? Hold on. Is it in here? It should be on the other side. I haven't done this run. I have not done this run. What is this shit? Yeah, I haven't done this shit. I haven't done a pickaxe run. Hold on, let me check this shit out. An E in strength and a D in fucking dex. That's shit. I guess it's the same. Pickaxe run. I guess it is. He's the person you respect the most. That's fair. Pick pickaxe it is, dude. I haven't fucking done a pickaxe run ever, so... I hope you can upgrade it, that would be nice, because I hate fucking up no upgrades, no death runs, but I do them all the time. Fucking hate it. Is this is this hardstone shards? I pick you. Get picked. I pick. I choose you. I guess I'll grab both just in case. Ah, damn, dude. That is brutal as fuck. I like that. You know what a steady job? He's not a, a dude robbing, plundering, and murdering people for no reason. Like the chosen undead. I need more strong for this. I don't have enough strong. I don't have enough strong, baby. Three options for the music. What are the three options? Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho, it's off to work I go. Do 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 hi ho hi ho Notorious is your street animal, that's fair. You're wrecked, Buttercup. I'm just working in the mine, baby. Come here, buddy. No! You guys are ruining it for me. 
the fantasy is gone. No, stop it. Leave me alone, sir. I'm just a lonely miner trying to work for my trade. Sir. I just parried your bag, bitch. You ever have your bag parried before? Guys, you want me to parry your bag for you? Hmm? Tie it up in a neat bowl and just dangle it between my legs. Let's see what upgrade path this is. Time for a beer, guys. I think it's around beer o'clock. Time to pick. I'm gonna pick a fight, boy. I'm gonna pick a fight with my pickaxe. Gonna pick that fight. Demon Souls time. Yeah, it's Demon Souls. It's always, it's always Demon o'clock. Oh. It's sharp star sharks, interesting. Interesting. Wish for the stars. <laughs> Paul always calling me a slut. What time is it? It's 4 a.m. Smash that ass. <laughs> what was that? It's 4 a.m. Wish for the stars, anyway. Dark hole, thank you so much for the stars. Dark hole. Get wetted, boy. Get that wetted head up, boy. Yeah, boy. Go through this place right here, like this. Go this away. Any tips? Get hard, bro. Michael, that's the only tip I got is make sure you get real hard. Get real hard. In that game, dude, you just get so hard. Every time I play it, it makes me hard, dude. Every time. Basically, getting hard is like shield. shield. Demon sausage. Demon sausage hot dog rolling on the floor laughing. <laughs> Oh, buddy, no, don't hurt me. Ow! Interesting, that's kind of cool, Felix, I like that. I had no idea. <laughs> Come back to your demon sausage. <laughs> It is the way of the forward stream, man. It really is. Hi! You got the Shrek Wazowski coming up. The Shrek Wazowski. He can hurt you. He's real. Don't go to therapist and don't call He's watching you while you sleep. It's not Santa. He knows when you're good. And he knows when you're awake. Hi. Hi. Like? Let's start. Let's 
la 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 Like eggs. in a circle in the wilderness here. It's the music is very emotional from The Witcher. It's very emotional. It definitely is. Announced The Witcher 4, but I think it's all gonna be what's your face series. I don't think it's gonna be all this war. I think he's gonna be more in like the capacity that what's his face is war in there. I don't know why I call it war. Yeah. Oh, To listen to, yeah, it really is. A shelter keeper of the abyss, Fudge Fudge Factory is what his name is, Mr. Fudge Factory, because he just poops. He's a pooper. Clean it up after that spider, easy. He's a pooper. He's the Fudge Factory. Sharp stone shards, but no fucking chunks. You. Dude, watch me give me shit again this time. Last time. Thanks for the stars. Go to sleep, mom. Never! Mothers don't sleep. They're always watching their children in their sleep. Faucet. Hey, don't punch me. What is this? Fucking Dark Souls? Stop! What? That hasn't happened ever? Alright, whatever. 
bitches in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I told you they're always watching their children. They don't sleep. They literally don't. They're just watching you all the time. Like, hey, son. Are you taking care of yourself? He's an overrated boss. I really like him. I think the reason why he's as popular as he is is because of Dark Souls 1, though. That's one thing I can say. I like I like Nameless King. For a lot of reasons. Mostly because of the fight itself. Like, I, I like the delayed timings. It feels very, uh, what's the word? Satisfying to fight him and fight them properly and like get it right it feels really nice once you like get it down did you break your controller? yeah he's pretty hard <laughs> the real Santa Claus's mother is true though the thing is is, is the reality is it's the truth when your mom gives birth to you most of the time that's all she does is think about you you know what I mean most of the time not every mom I can't say that for every mom but the good moms the ones that do care are always there watching you know what I mean always taking care of you it's the truth There's a lot of hardstone chunks. We might just go fucking Halberd, dude. Because it'd be faster. Yeah, he's a hard boss when you first fight him. Eventually, you get used to his timings, though, because he's delayed. And that's the reason why he's delayed, is to catch people off guard. That panic roll. He's meant to be like that on purpose, just to, like, kind of fuck with people that aren't controlled when they play. He's actually there to teach people a higher tier of playing. Another pickaxe! Hold on, can I pray with this other pickaxe? Oh, okay. Hmm? Yeah. Double pickaxe, baby! Mmm, yeah, daddy. We got that double pickaxe. Block with the pickaxe. Double pickaxe run. So sharp doesn't scale much. Yeah, it doesn't really. But hey, I don't give a crap. It's pickaxe city, baby. Welcome to pickaxe city. You got a pickaxe with your name on it. You ever have a pickaxe? Come in for the trolls gameplay. Stay for the commentary. <laughs> Don't lie to me, sir. Don't get my hopes up. Look for the stars. It's hard being an inferior Dark Souls player, but someone had to do it. I mean, if you can play Dark Souls and not completely lose your brain, you're not inferior. Most people won't even try. People are intimidated to play the game, dude. So don't feel bad. Like, honestly, it is just the way it is. The game is hard. It's not easy. I wish I could parry with the other pickaxe, that'd be fucking great.
pick, a pick, a pick, pick. You get a pick. Unless I doubt it, I think he's probably pretty good at it, more than likely. Let's dance to the pickaxe song, guys. Look at green Brad Pitt dancing with his pickaxe. Hit me as hard as you can. Oh, that's a great soundtrack, hell yeah. I, lo I like that soundtrack, that's a really good soundtrack. There's one track in particular that I really like from that one. There you go. That's the final shot for you, right there. What's up, Rapa? Welcome. Pickaxe boy. The ending, I mean, because they're setting up for the sequel. That's pretty much the only thing. They literally were setting up for the sequel. That's all it really was. The game is good though, it really is a good ass game. What am I missing? Large sharpstone sharp are you fucking serious? I just got sharpstone sharp, you motherfucker. Eat it. I'm gonna go kill a fucking giant dude. I don't give a shit, I'll be back. Oh, you're talking about Assassin's Creed? I thought you were talking about God of War. I haven't played Assassin's Creed since like a long ass time ago. Oh no, I need to go the other way. I'm wrong. We need the, the bow for this. It's it's a roguelike. It's the same fucking thing, Rapa. What I mean by non non souls like I mean like fucking Red Dead Redemption, shit like that. Like don't get me wrong, I'm I'm gonna play Hades eventually when I feel like playing it, but that's what I mean. It's hammer time, baby. Oh, I 
can't really get my hand off the controller, so hold on. baby. Gotta love that pickaxe. That new pickaxe smell. That pickaxe smells good, baby. Mmm, daddy. Loves them pickaxes. Fall, boy. Bonk, 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 bonk on your face, baby. Monkey, bonk, bonk. Bonky, bonk. A bonky, bonk, 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 bonk. Okay. You got it. Ow! You bastard! How dare you hit me? Did 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 die? Did die, boy? He gonna die? You better cool it down. I just did a hand fairy to you, sir. How do you enjoy that? Time to pick me a winner. More Hearthstone shards? Like, you're not using the pickaxe, dude. <laughs> yep. A southern pickaxe man never drops his pickaxe. He always has it on him. All the time. Hey, die! Die, goddammit! Gotta pick me a winner. Right through his fucking skull, man. Jesus, this thing is brutal. I like it. I can't believe I've never used this weapon on a run. It's a white. Welcome. Welcome to the pickaxe. The pickaxe room, we're gonna pick us a winner. The pick, we're gonna pick a winner, baby. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. It's a pickaxe. <laughs> it broke that guy's leg. Wow, that's terrifying. Had to pick his brain. <laughs> Hold on, baby. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Laura? How you doing, man? Ah! Sir! Stompy stop, please. No? Okay. Stop right there, criminal scum. Get up so you can die, I want to watch this. Oh, dumbass. Goodbye. Bye-bye, you dead. 
Goodbye, hey, you dead. Alright, so we gotta go back to get some more large. How many large shards do we fucking. I don't even know how many we need. Upgrade weapon. Pickaxe plus six. I have 15. Oh, I need chunks. I need fucking chunks. That's what it is. I need chunks. I don't have any chunks. We gotta go find some chunks. Thick X one. The thick X word. We need chunk. Give me chunk. I want chunk. Give it. No! There's no chunk! Where's my chunk? Give me chunk, boy! Can I have chunk? Can I have chunk? I got chunk. I need chunk, baby. Daddy need chunk. Mama need chunk. Everybody need chunk. Stop it! Ow! That's preposterous, sir. How dare you? How dare you do such things to me? <laughs> no, the glitch is gone, Wyatt. It's gone. Yes, we got chunk. We need one more chunk. Come on, people. You gotta commit ritualistic suicide. Come on. It's time. Give yourself to the chunk gods. Come on. There's peaceful life on the other side of death. I have given you the gift of death because you so wrongly refused life. Come on. Do it. Just murder yourself. Your husband did it. Pretty easy. Thank you. Time for more chunk. Give me chunk! I want one chunk. I need one chunk. I need one, please. Give me chunk. Shard? No, I need chunk. No, d give me chunk! <laughs> You bastards. Every single one of you. Didn't give me chunk. <laughs> no chunk. Man, I want chunk. Fuck. Sees it anyways. Let me pick your question.
Not really. Which which stream were you on, man? Uh, never mind. Don't don't tell. You want to put a bird in the in the PO box, you weirdo? That poor bird. What did it do to you? Hmm? Did it look at you funny? Call you names? Good. You deserve it, sir. What's up, Jim? Welcome. Give me chunk, man. I ain't got no chunk. I have... Wait a minute. Am I reading this right? I can upgrade? And... What? What happened? What was going on? No, I don't even know. We have a plus case. Let's... I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. Alright, whatever. Chunk a chunk. Chunk. I picked up two chunks last round, I didn't even notice. That's how that's how fucking convoluted I am. How you doing? I'm okay, I think. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope. This. Nope, nope, nope. Fuck y'all, I'm gone. Jesus Christ, dude. Holy shit. Woo. Baby. Wow. That was terrifying. That hit the wrong spots there. In all the wrong ways. Oh my god, dude. I almost had a fucking heart attack. Jesus Christ. Whew. See, that's the, you feel like you're alive though, right? You're fine. Don't worry. It's not your fault. Come mine. Whew. Where's this fucking dude at? You get wrecked, boy. You're trying to kill me on my fucking no death run. Eat a, eat a big fat hairy turd, sir. Cult? What cult? There's a cult? I don't know what's going on, guys. My brain isn't working anymore. Alright, have a good day. This game just wants me to die right now. Where'd he go? This game just wants me to die. Like, it's just like, hey, Ray, ready to die? Did you see how he rolled up the fucking mountain? Like, how the fuck did he do that? Like, he rolled up the goddamn mountain. He never does that. But he did it this time.
the one time he rolls up the goddamn mountain. Seriously? My chest is bleeding. He ripped up my heart. It's like an emo song. He ripped up my heart. Good God. Yeah, the skeletons are shit, dude. They really are shitty. The cult of tomato. <laughs> That's fair. What happened? I almost died like twice right now. In a row, dude. It's fucking bad. Like, real bad. They don't like they don't like my my work hooks. They don't they don't like my thingies. Is Dark Souls a cult? I think some guy came in here and asked that actually like a couple like a couple weeks ago. Is Dark Souls a cult? I was like I don't know. Is it? Is it a cult? You guys think Dark Souls is a cult? A dark cult of wonders. <laughs> it's a covenant. It's a coven. A coven of witches. The kind with the twisted noses and the, the green faces. What's up, Tim? Welcome back. I gotta turn back on cam now. Finally. Alright, so. Look, I'm playing with one hand, guys. Don't ever do this. It's bad in Dark Souls. Seriously. Broken controllers. Mine, mine is definitely broken. How is, how is he playing with one hand? You don't want to know where the other hand is. Full moon grass. He gave him the full moon. This weapon is trash. I love it. <laughs> I like what Dallas is fucking explanation. Yeah, dude, my fucking. You know what's broken is the damn roll button on mine. Overutilization? Fuck yeah, dude. That's going on my Amazon wish list. Is Kia still here? Just take off. Kia, I appreciate you stopping by. I really do. It's been a while. But still, I mean, I go through controllers like every other man do. You not seen the tattoo live yet? Thanks, man. Yeah. It's healed up pretty good. It's not completely healed yet, but it's getting there. Get it, boy.
parry button. Yeah, because that's all that game is, is parry, parry. Literally, parry, parry, attack, parry, 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 parry attack. It's basically what it is. So you can really do that one. Ah! That was fine, or I mined from his ankles. Imagine getting hit in an ankle with a fucking pickaxe. That shit would suck, dude. That'd be like the worst pain imaginable. At least in my opinion it would be. Returnal's pretty hard, Rappa. Yeah. <laughs> the sexless community. The Covenant in a forlorn night. Praise the tomato. I like it, dude. I don't like being known as a cult, that's kind of creepy. I've done NG plus 7, so level 1. Great, just not in this game. I've done NG plus 7 fresh start, which means no no weapons, no, no upgraded weapons, nothing. Just starting from scratch, so level 1. Dark Souls 1, all the way through to NG plus 9, Infinite NG mod. I've done NG plus 7, Soul Level 1, Dark Souls 3, NG plus 7, Soul Level 1, Dark Souls 2, I haven't done this game. Not yet. I've done just the Soul Level 1 in this game. Still relatively like new to me because I barely have I haven't really played much of it, honestly. Fuck that, I agree, sir. Bam the ass. Daddy loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Shit, here we go again. Kotaku piece? It's because I have more hours in one of my runs than they have in the whole entire series. That's why they won't put me in there. Because they're like... This dude has more hours in one run than we have in the whole series. I can't let that happen. It, it's done that on NG+, Plus, Chris. It was broken before. It was a pain in the ass. So I was doing NG to NG plus 5 no death in this game. That's when it broke. So I had to run down and fucking get it going. Come on, baby. Come on, run the corner. Come to daddy. That he has something special for you. Yeah, that's something special. But NG plus 6 doesn't matter after NG plus 5. It's useless. What's up, Rapa? Okay, I want in. Thank you for tuning in, buddy. I appreciate you. This 
wet. It's literally wet. Too. Flame Lurker is a piece of shit, so... Everybody knows Flame Lurker is a piece of shit, so... Silent Hill 3 and Silent Hill 4. Nice, dude. I still never played the medium. I'm getting fucking tired. Ah, dude, you're a prick, really, dude? What a bitch ass. Bitch ass motherfucker, you bitch ass. What the fucker, motherfucker, you bitch ass. Bitch ass motherfucker. Keep getting good. I don't think I'll ever get good, sir. I'll always be below good. Bitch ass motherfucker. Yeah, mame bashu bagi da bi ba du ba i ba ga ba di be de. Never had a problem with flaming that grip of Manhunter. We're gonna give him some tracks. Yeah, dude. They're fucking good. I'm sleepy. Finally fucking tired, man. I feel it today, right now. I'm just a below average Dark Souls player, guys. <laughs> Jazz with the fucker.
Nah, I don't play Kingsfield. Because it's not a Miyazaki game, that's mostly why. Get it, boy! Come, come get it! Give it that spanky daddy. I want it. Give it to me. Give me that dingo spanky baby. Daddy likes it. Mmm, daddy. Yeah, baby. Give me that crawfish. Did I humble with that statement? Fair. What are you talking about? I, I've never. I've never played a Souls game in my life. I'm a virgin. Oh, you're gonna die, boy. I got the pickaxe with your name on it, son. Charlie Brown ain't got nothing on me, baby. Hey! Stop of it! Die already, thank you. Sir, you just to die. The Covenant? Where's my ring? That's actually not a bad idea, sir. That's a really good idea. Dabba dabba doo ba dee, yabba dee ba doo. Really very picky about his games, yeah. So this will be no death run number six in a row in the Soulsborne series for the amount of the stream. After this, I'll probably play Dark Souls 3 All Bosses No Death. And then after that, I'll probably be playing Dark Souls 1 All Bosses No Death. More than likely. I kind of want to do it during the day, because people really like Dark Souls 3 a lot. So I just want to make sure that people get a chance to watch Dark Souls 3 All Bosses No Death. They're big fans of that game. Of the hunt. Was it really? I believe it, dude, because it's brutal. Like, if you hit somebody in the back with this thing, they're fucked up, dude. They will not survive that shit. They will die. You, you either that or you paralyze them, they fucking won't you'll be able to do jack shit. You know what I mean, Picky. Oh, I just got the fucking pun, dude. That's how tired I am. Oh, you oh you weren't just fucking with me, man. Alright, yeah. I'm you can't play games with me when I'm fucking tired like that, dude. You know this already. You were at the 140 run. I start having hallucinations and shit, dog. Hide by the intro? Yeah, because he's not hard, dude, at all. He's fucking easy. I have never used it. Why? Is it any good? The rune sword, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I've never used that shit. Not once. Oh, it's just fashion. It has magic damage? Oh, okay. Is it... So it's just like, eh. That's kind of a letdown. It looks nice. 
It looks like a nice. It looks like a nice weapon, but I get I get what you're saying. Pure white world tendency again. Wow, it must have been hard to get it. This game is so hard. It's a hard game. I got a pick X. I got a pick X. You a question, baby? Come on down, Daddy. Got a pick X. You a question? You gotta stop running, boy. Sharp stone. Damn you! <laughs> you get the pick. Yeah, I'm just waiting for Lotus to wake up so I can take my break, and then after she goes with her grandparents, then I start all over again. Then I start with the long runs, which are the fucking straight up balls runs. Yeah, it's there. I'm just not using it. Why? I've, I've used it for like three no death runs, four no death runs, something like that in this game. So I kind of don't want to use it this time. And plus it's too heavy, because it'll fuck up my inventory and I have to go back to the goddamn, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know, because it's broken. It's right there, see? Yes! Two sharp stone chucks and a pure right here. See? There it is. Pick up everything. That's a lot. A lot of people do that. It was a, a fun sword. It's a very fun sword. Yeah, because you basically have people flying around like baseballs when you slap them with it. Yeah, we know. We knew we were 14 hours in when I started this run. That's how we're just keeping track of the hours based on the last, the first stream. That's basically what we're doing. That's why I did a lot. I mean, you can you can kill everything and still survive. It's just a lot of work, dude. It's a lot of work, like, to do that, and it takes too long. That's kind of the problem with it, because people ask me all the time, are you going to do a kill everything run? It's like, yeah, I could do that, but it would get boring for me, to, not for, I mean, for people to watch it. Like, it's not, it's not boring to do, it's just boring to watch. Especially if you've played the game, like, as many times as I've played them on stream, like, people would be like, dude, I don't want to watch this shit. I think like a kill everything run is cool like maybe once in a long time on stream But like if you're playing casually fucking kill whatever you want dude kill as much shit as you want fucking do do you man You know what I mean fucking do you No restrictions dude I was doing that on Bloodborne the other day when I wasn't even on the stream because I was enjoying it Murdering everything with the Ludwig's holy blade because it was funny It was good shit What am I missing? Okay, sharp stone chunk. That's not bad. I need one sharp stone chunk to be at plus nine. Wait, I'm at, like already fucking like completely leveled this thing almost. I might have to get it from one three. Maybe if they have one. A lot of person you gotta say. Uh, Chicago, yeah, Chicago's pretty good. I did a uh, no hunting dream run with it.
Chicago is fucking amazing, dude. It's a good weapon. Bastard. Why are you hurting me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were talking about that last run too. Wyatt. The unused archstone? Yeah, that, that would have been fucking cool, dude. But, you know, that's a fucking pipe dream. Purple flame shield, easy mode. Wingtip spear, yeah, that's what I've heard. The maples went flying, baby. I mean, the cool thing too is like anime, not anime, manga too is pretty popular. More popular than American comic books right now. Marvel's fucking pissed about it. Honestly, which, I mean, it makes sense they'd be pissed about it, but they're outselling. Manga's outselling, Shonen Jump's outselling fucking Marvel. But it's because there's not so many fucking social regulations on that shit as there is on like Marvel Comics. It's mostly what it comes down to. Like I don't I don't mind social commentary as long as it's well written. But a lot of stuff is poorly written, poorly drawn nowadays in Marvel. Which doesn't add any much it doesn't add weight or volume to the message that they're trying to provide. Honestly, it makes it just fucking worse. Since it's like bullshit, you know what I mean? That's kind of the problem, like, if you want to make a statement, like, make it well written at least. Don't fucking make it shit. Because right now, Marvel is hiring pretty much anybody who worked for them. Which is fucking sad. It's like, it's time for like, like for instance, being a Latin American myself, I want to see a Latin superhero, but I don't want a hand-me-down hero, I want like a brand new, like fucking Latin superhero, you know what I mean? I don't like that concept of like the hand-me-down shit, 
that really bugs me. It feel, I feel like it's disrespectful to the culture. At least in my opinion, it feels that way. Like, Miles Morales is alright. I don't mind Miles Morales because he has his own story arc and he has his own, like, decent story. But, specifically other characters being, like, forced to be, like, certain races, I find it kind of disrespectful. You know what I mean? So that's kind of just how I feel about it. Yeah, it's true. Blue Beetle, yeah. It just feels like it, it feels like a poor attempt at marketing and basically trying to cash in on a race. Like that's how it feels it doesn't feel legit. To me it's like the opposite of what it's supposed to be. It's basically just trying to make money because somebody's of a specific race. You know, I mean that's how it feels to me. It doesn't feel legitimate. Get penetrated, penetrator. I'm fighting a boss, I'll check the combo after, dude. Game in well. I'm not avoiding anything, I just can't fucking pay attention right now. Hold on one second. It's upsetting nowadays that you're less, turn lesser heroes into different ethnicities really creating Exactly, dude. It's super lazy shit, dude. Super lazy. It's fucking... It's disrespectful. That's what I mean. It's it's fucking disrespectful and, and kind of racist. I'm not I'm not trying to be mean or, like, besmirch people, but it it's like this. Like, I, if you're white, I'm not trying to offend you guys. I apologize if it offends you guys. I really, I really do apologize, but... It feels like hand-me-downs, you know what I mean, for what's acceptable, you know what I mean? It doesn't feel legitimate to me, you know what I mean? So it's it's not, in a, in a way, trying to be racist or on any level, like I'm not trying to be a racist person, but it doesn't legitimately feel good to have a hand-me-down. It feels like you're basically, this is good enough for you, so use this, like, it's kind of fucked up, just saying. And at the same time, there's not enough, like, 
lacking content creators like really trying to create something either. So partially the culture to blame as well, so I don't know man, you know. Just saying, like I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but Pinterest is scary yet. I'm sorry for saying that, but it's the truth, like it's just how I feel. We got all these souls to use too. Yeah, it, it, it's also that's like a, kind of the problem. Like I've talked about it in the past with marketing like that. Like, it's just, I'm, I gotta stop talking about this shit, it's gonna get me in trouble with somebody, but a specific demographic of people that I belong to, not just specifically racially, like, the marketing towards those specific people is heavily influenced by money, especially for, by conglomeration, and it has to do with a specific social movement, and I'm not trying to name names or anything, but you can kind of guess. Since we've had this discussion of Ellis before, and it doesn't feel genuine because basically the movement doesn't profit from it. Only the corporations do. So they make like a ploy to be like, oh yeah, we're pro this or pro that. And they don't offer any kind of benefit from whatever they make to the people that they're basically profiting off of. So to me, that's like a big disrespectful thing as well. Like, that's kind of the problem with me. Like, I don't agree with that shit. Like, I, if you're about something, that's cool. If you're part of the movement, cool. No problem. But if you're fucking, like, just banking on it because you want to be hip and make money, then you're a fucking loser and you're basically selling out someone's culture and who, who they are and what they're about. And that's not cool to me. I don't agree with that shit. You know what I mean? I just don't. Like, I was talking about this before, like, Target specifically selling clothing that specifically deals with a specific month that I don't want to talk about on stream because if you know me personally you know exactly what I'm talking about that I really don't care either way about honestly even though it's a part of who I am And it's like, it's okay to show your pride for those things. Like, I have nothing against that. But if you're feeding money to the problem, then it's not going to help the cause. It's just going to, they're just trying to market things and make money off of your ass. It kind of really rubs me the wrong way when I go to a store and I see a bunch of shit supposedly supporting something. You know what I mean? And then in reality, the only one profiting is the people that made the clothing, not the people that they're trying to support. Oh, really? Why? Yeah, I didn't know that, man. Yeah, good stories with relatable characters. I mean, because, like, okay, so I'm just going to say it, okay? 
I'm just going to straight up say it. I'm not part of the straight community. Okay? Like, I don't talk about it on stream because I don't need to. You know what I mean? I don't need to talk about it. No one needs to know my personal business. But that's what I'm specifically talking about. That demographic. Like, it's okay if you're about it and you support it, and that's there's nothing wrong with that. It's totally natural. But if you're basically profiteering off the fact that people live a certain lifestyle, it's it's deplorable. It's just fucked up. It's corporate it's corporate shit that shouldn't exist. Basically you're just a number and you're fucking giving them cash, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't believe in it. And like just because of my specific sexual stuff, like I don't need to talk about it on stream, but it just, it doesn't need to be there. Because it's nobody's business. But you get what I'm saying. You know what I mean? That shit, like, drives me up the wall, dude. That's why it's like, what the fuck, man? Like, I don't get it. Nice stream in the back. Thanks, Marion. Appreciate it. It's the same with the homies thing. Like, I think it's cool. Like, I don't mind it. Like, I like the homies. You know what I mean? Well, like, that's like from La Raza. You know what I mean? That's from the, the culture. They did that. But, like, if I went to Target and I saw them, like, made their own version of the homies. <laughs> In selling it, you know, then I'm like, dude, that's kind of fucking weird, man. Like, I can't do it. Like, it's, it's just, it's profiteering off of the movement. It's not good, you know. So it's kind of, it's kind of weird that way. Like, I just don't like it. It bothers me. Yeah, it shouldn't be a selling point, dude. It shouldn't be. You're right. You're correct. You're absolutely correct, dude. It's the same with like anything else that's like that though. It could be anything. And that's the thing about it. In my perspective, because I don't talk about it much, it has to do with anti-mega corporation perspective stuff. That's mostly how I view it. Like I don't like the concept of, of being able to basically have free reign to control every facet of people's existences. You know what I mean? I don't like that. Like I like the I'm I'm anti that. Like don't get me wrong, I watch Disney like everybody else and I do all that stuff. I order from Amazon and all that shit and I go to Whole Foods sometimes. But I don't think one corporation should have the ability to be the voice and basically control the whole entire market of the financial institution. Like it shouldn't be that way. Like free enterprise is basically dwindling. Farmers are going away. Like, lo there's lots of bad shit happening right now that people don't even realize that had laws against them that were built, like, in the early 1900s for that reason alone, for mega corporations not to exist. So, my fear is that basically this infighting was just like a, a cloud to push over shit so that people don't realize that the, the final war isn't fought, like, on a battlefield, it's fought in our minds and our hearts. And on, in, on the corporate front, we basically have no institutionalized like ability to defend our own right to make profit anymore because of the fact that we outsourced all that stuff to major corporations who buy it from people that 
can't afford to fight back. So to me, it's it's just gonna keep going that way. There's no way to change it. It's gonna exactly what I mean, Jose. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, if you look at it this way too, like when. Like, this is the last I'm going to talk about this because I don't like talking about this kind of shit because it paints me in a specific picture of things and people... I don't like people to know what my social opinion is at all. Like, I refuse to allow that on stream. But if you look at what happened when COVID first hit, the only ones that were out of business were personal businesses, not the corporations. The only people you could get food and supplies from were major corporations mom and pop suffered horribly because of it so if you if you think that it's all just because of what happened during covid which part of it was you're wrong it has to do with what the main plan was to basically absolve people of being able to compete against the major corporations and that's just my opinion and i'm going to stop there They would never, yeah, I know, right, exactly. Yeah, exactly. They would never do that. The damage, I know, man, the damage is good with fire, bro. DPS was on point too. Plus we're leveled at like 40 decks or some shit. So that helps quite a bit. Damage is so fucking good, dude. Yeah. Definitely. Banshee football chance. I've never heard Banshee football chance. Is that a thing? Oh, 
Well, no, I get what you're saying. No, because I know you're from the UK. You don't call it soccer. I, I get it. I never heard fantasy football chants before. You're fine, man. I get it. Talk about, talk about hockey. The girls from the, the X Girls. I mean, the thing is, I have a fond relationship with the girls from the craft. Specifically, for Rosa Bulk. She's amazing in that film. But that's just a personal thing, man. Don't no, start now, please. I hate, when they start doing that, you're fucked. Usually, I don't know how I got out of that because it's me, maybe. But if you get in that circumstance, you don't have enough stamina and you don't keep running, you're fucked there because they will kill you pretty easily. Smo or Gwendolyn? Gwendolyn, easy. Smo is disgusting, man. But see, I think that's funny because Smo is actually not a fat guy. I always, I always like the, I always like the concept of what Smo was really like, because Smo was the executioner, right? But Smo, his personality was like, he's a serial killer, basically, and he dresses like that because he enjoys being disgusting. So it's pretty disturbing if you think about it. His makeup mentally is pretty fucking just like messed up. Interesting. His armor just makes him look fat because he likes to be presented that way. How long has this run been on? Two hours and eight minutes, okay.
<laughs> so I had some tips. I, I, dude, I do this game too quickly, basically. At least we're at the point where we can actually finish the run. But I was hoping to be done, like, when my daughter wakes up. Jane's still there, and she'd take off and play fucking Go Ghost of Tsushima again. <laughs> that lady's obsessed with Ghost of Tsushima. It's fucking hilarious, dude. She's obsessed with it, dude. I love Jane, but damn, dude. It's crazy how she was obsessed with it. Let me get one of those plague thingies. I never noticed this. Look how the bridge moves when you walk on it. That's so cool, man. They did really good with the physics there. No, she's 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 gone, dude. Either she's passed out or she's playing got. It's fu I don't mind. It's just funny. Cuz I didn't know, like, dude, when it came out, I didn't know she would be such a fan, dude. It's insane. Covenant rings. Nice. crazy because I saw the preview it looked cool and stuff and I remember when she played it she like fell in love with it right away it's kind of cool to see somebody make that connection with a game it's kind of cool I like that <sighs> they're not totally no I'm obsessed with you know what I'm obsessed with I'm not obsessed specifically with just Dark Souls games it's with the challenge but it's cool, I didn't know that she was going to be that into the game. To the point where she's basically trying to rank. Which is fucking amazing. That's good to have that kind of like passion, even if it's just for a video game. Like, I respect that. It's kind of cool. I'm gonna get poisoned anyways, dude. I don't care. Yeah, I haven't played Dying Light. I might give it a try. I was gonna do like a no weapon, no uh. I, you can do fist only thing, I think.
It's almost 6 a.m. In about... Yeah, 8 minutes. It'll be 6 a.m. Yeah, you, you can. You should be able to. I think I saw a thing where it's possible. Kind of want to try that myself. Rob, welcome in. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Oh. Stupid ring that I picked up last time that I don't need every fucking time, dude. The great game should try it. Yeah, I definitely will. <laughs> Jesus, I'm jealous. That's fucking crazy, dude. I'm jealous is nuts, dude. It's official. Are you really playing or is this a recording? Is this a recording? Are you really playing the game? <laughs> right, it's true. Dude, this part is cool. Look at the dead body being burned. That's so fucking metal right there. God, dude! Give me the fucking answer. <laughs> Fuck, dude! Stop it, baby. Where is this gym? The fucking big axe, dude. Did he get stuck? I've never seen that before. You 
got stuck in the plank, dude. I've never seen that. That's insane. <laughs> it really is though! That boss has fucking bullshit hitboxes. Jane, we were just talking about you. Being obsessed with Game, uh, game of Thrones. No, Sashima. Because you're a pro now. You're a pro Ghost of Sashima player now. Jane is pro level, guys. She's gonna kick the shit out of me. I'm gonna do a stream where she just owns the crap out of me. Minecraft Souls? Where, where the fuck are you going, bro? This guy, I swear. What is with my parry timing? I, I, I get, then again, I've played like 50 fucking different games in a row. So I can't really be too mad about it. Garlic. Are you healing yourself? Yeah, you bitch. What a fucking bitch. I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom, motherfucker. Come here. Yes, you did fail her because you sucked. Oh. What are you talking about with the bow? The cheese with the bow. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick before we continue the run. We're almost done with this run. So be number six. So I'll be right back.
Okay. What were we doing? Thanks for the GG's, guys. I like how I just randomly pick any weapon and fucking lay people out with it. That's like the best part of this. Watch out here, it's not gonna be good. Because of that dude right there on the walkway. It's gonna be dangerous. Alright, cool. He didn't pop down. Like, I thought he would, like, pop down right next to us. The way he looks running up those fucking stairs is hilarious.
Fucking A, dude. Second time I almost fell off in this fucking playthrough is... That's why I like the no death runs as opposed to the no hit runs, because anything can fucking happen. It's a lot more savage that way. So much fun that way. Jack shit damage. That was a hitless boss fight, wow. That's fucking crazy. I don't think I've ever done that boss fight hitless before. Oh man, we fucking destroyed that guy.
We've got... We just have... I think we just have the dude left. The main bad guy. King Alon, I think, is the last dude we got. We're done with this no-death run. King Elant, last boss in Dark Demon Souls. Oh man, oh, I, I was in the wrong fucking. You know, I was, in the, I was in the wrong chat, man. Wyatt, I didn't see your comment. I didn't see your GG's, Jane. And Odellis, I didn't see. Fuck, dude, I didn't see it. I was in the wrong chat. I was in last stream's chat. Yeah, you're talking about the OG King, right, Michael? I don't like kill him if I have to. He's just an NPC. He's not a boss. Because he has the what the ring of eternal erection on him. I've killed him before, a couple times. As the first fucking person I killed in the game, main dude. It looks okay, Wyatt. Don't look too bad. Yes, don't fucking hit anybody. Just do this. Why are you... Why the fuck... Was he, like, holding his shield out? Like, I don't understand. Whatever. The ring of eternal erection. That's basically what it sounds like to me. I do, I have t-shirts, dude. T-shirts and all kinds of shit on my page. But it's at, at my shop, dude. Forlorn Clothing. You have to look up Forlorn Clothing in order to find it. There was a link before, but there isn't anymore. For whatever reason. looks okay. I'm not really as excited as a lot of people are about it, but it's mostly because, I don't know, I'm not really into Pinocchio. I like, I like Steampunk though, so that's one reason why I will play it. And I like Bloodborne, so that's another reason why I will play it, but I'm not a fan of Pinocchio. I don't know what it is. Your shirt, the one I never sent you, yeah. I'm notoriously bad with shit like that. Fucking tired, I'm gonna need 
Well, I mean, I have to watch Lotus, so... After this boss fight, after this run, I have to watch Lotus for about an hour. And then, I'll be back. And we'll keep running. Oh, we'll keep running. Non-stop, because we gotta keep going. I will, I'll send you one, man. I will. I will. Lotus, yeah. It's my daughter's name. You know who he, who he sounds like? He sounds like like German. His voice sounds like German's voice. Slam! The animation. Slam! Bam! Damn! Wham! Wham! Bam! I know, man. I'm just bad with shit socially. <laughs> yes! Imagine beating a king's ass with a fucking pickaxe. <laughs> you imagine that? Walking into the guy's like throne room and like just fucking laying him out with a fucking pickaxe. Can you imagine that? Imagine if you were in a war and you bring a fucking pickaxe with you. What kind of psycho do you need to be? <laughs> Let's see that happen. <laughs> Yeah. Just going in there beating the shit out of him with a fucking pickaxe. Hey buddy, I've come to break your knees. Get ready, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> pickaxe. <laughs> I was like, I can't get her. Right. Yeah, I can see that. There's a good reason for that. And another no death run. You're in playing live, it's a fucking recording. These ice picks. It's a fucking recording.
Yeah, the fire keeper. She's called the maiden in this one. She's not called the fire keeper. Because <laughs> he was in league with the old one, so it transformed him into a hideous mass of whose insides were. In other words, the, car the carpet matches the drapes, his soul matches his body. That's basically what happened to him. Alright, I gotta... I gotta go, guys. It's the end of this no-death run right here. Which is number six in a row. Alright guys, I'm going to get off, I'll be back in about an hour and a half to two hours, I'll see you guys in a little bit, have a good one.